Good evening. Another parable that we heard today, but I want you to reflect on the tone of the gospel reading is changing. You hear the word again, sleep, anticipation. I don't want you to sleep, but I'm just giving you the tone of the readings. It's about because the gospel or the, ca the calendar of the church is changing to ordinary time to Advent. When Advent comes, it's a hopeful anticipation. But why this gospel talks about the bridesmaids waiting outside in the dark. In the biblical times, especially the wedding feast, the bridesmaids usually wait with the bride, the groom to arrive. And where was the groom? The groom usually was or is negotiating with the parents of the brides. We call it in the old times, there's a system. Uh, you give gifts to the parents. And then why? Because it's a part of the tradition that, so that they can move on with their lives. And giving gifts to the parents is an ancient tradition. And now why are they waiting outside? And why is this important in our ce celebration today and waiting for Advent? Come to think of it this, waiting is not what I want to do in my life. I am a restless child. And I'm still restless until today. Waiting is not the best for me. Think about this in your life. LAX, you go somewhere, you wait in line, what happens to you? You get irritated. Think about this also. 405, and you're driving, traffic. You wait, what happened to you? Irritation comes in and says, oh boy, I've been living in LA for four years. And this is what I learned. I live in South Pasadena, it's pretty easy, but in LA County, when we drive, we usually arrange how much traffic or how much time we're gonna spend in traffic. And I think there is a wisdom about that. We learn how to live with it. We learn to accept it. Now, how can we think about this idea or example in the gospel reading? The bridesmaids were waiting in waiting, wisdom comes. Think about this. When you are in a major decision in life, you're changing a job, you're buying a home, you're getting married and everything major, major in your life, the wise person will always say, and most of the time parents or grandparents will tell you, before you do the decision, wait for a few days and see. What is the wisdom about that? Because I Google the word wisdom, it comes with the word life experiences. Wisdom is an experiences in life that learned or learned. I learned also that wisdom is not just given to you. Wisdom is given to us to be learned with time and experience. Also, Another example of wisdom that I learned, internet is a wonderful thing. You said wisdom is common sense. Most people don't act with common sense anymore. And it's some time to think about this and reflect, what is this about with us that we react and we don't reflect on the things that's happening with us? We become reactive instead of reflective. And that's what's happening of these bridesmaids waiting. They're waiting so that they learn the wisdom of God. Think about this also. When we pray, when you ask and we ask God what we want and what we need, I want the Xbox, Xbox right now. I do. But sometimes it will take for me to get it. It's the same thing. Why is God giving us this? Because I learned this in life, in spiritual life especially. It doesn't come naturally. Prayer or spiritual life comes with experience and also you have to invest time with it. Last, this past week, I had this, I went to the office with my colleagues. His name is Frank Ponette. You don't know him. We were working on something and we found a very difficult word 
and I said, and he said, come to my office, let's look it up. And then he, he said, okay, I have a book for you. And I said, do you know what the book is? Merriam Webster. And I said, what is that? Dictionary. I learned this. There are a lot of things that we, as an adult, we don't have that anymore. Like the dictionary. Because in dictionary, you have to find the word by pages, patiently. But nowadays, because of our technology, when you Google it, it pops up right away, and the answer is right with you. And that's, it's, the world is changing. I had a conversation with pa Father Dennis last night about this gospel, and he was jokingly said to me, Martin, if this waiting happened this uh, 2017, the bridesmaid doesn't need oil anymore. All you have to do, and all you have to have is your cell phone. Why? Because there's a flashlight. You don't need oil. And I thought about this, uh, how can I connect this idea of cell phone to the gospel? As I said earlier, we have a cell phone. Everything is given to us. GPS, phone, phone contacts and everything. But doesn't, that one doesn't apply in our prayer life. Prayer, for, prayer life is about time. God is about time. How much time I give to God. And that is the, that is the lesson that we can learn to these bridesmaids. Wisdom comes when we wait. In prayer, wisdom comes when we wait. We don't have to know the, the answer right away, but the idea of waiting and anticipation gives us the word H-O-P-E, hope. When we wait, it gives us hope.